So, um, I, don't, I really don't know anything about like what's going on here, so if you guys could just like start from the, the, the simplest like point and tell me what's going on. We represent, um, we represent this movement from Mexico, and um, it, it started when the candidate from Mexico, Enrique Peña Nieto, went to this um, school, and it's called the Iberos, um, it's a university, and from there, um, he had, he has a, like a dark past, so like, like killings, like, uh, he's not like, like, he's a repressor, so from there, it, the whole thing started. Um, when they went and posted like I, like the, the it was 131 students who were like against him who were like who held them um, their signs the, yeah their their signs they were like screaming at him he ran to the restroom and then after afterwards like the tv it started saying oh no they were like they were um they were yeah they were like a little bit of students and they were um they were they they got paid and then from there the movement started when the students uh, made like this video with their names, with their ID number, and, like, and, like everything. And there were 131 students, and from there, a lot of people and, and, and other schools um, they connected, um, and they're from there they're, they're, they're starting saying, "Oh, I'm 132 friends." From there, like the movement started, which is against mostly to Peña Nieto and 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 his government. Bri. So he was. Um so he was elected, or he was. Yeah. Who is he, this, this politician? Peña Nieto represents El PRI. El PRI is one of the uh, the political parties in Mexico who was in power more than seventy years. Uh huh. And after Pan took over, um, supposedly we were like thinking, or Mexican people were thinking that it was going to be much better, which was not. It's still actually the same, and we understand actually that um, the PRI and Pan have been working together all this time. So it hasn't been really a change. And there is a lot of social injustice everywhere around the country. There is a lot of uh, repression. There is a lot of people being killed by the government, by the order of government. And that was one of the main issues from Peña Nieto. When he was the uh, state governor of Mexico, of Mexico State, he ordered he ordered the, uh, the Matanza or the killing of Atenco. Atenco is a small community. It's a small community of indigenous people. And they were protesting because government wanted to take over some of the resources and Peña Nieto sent the, the uh, police and the federal Policia Federal mm -hmm. to, to uh, kill them, arrest them and they actually raped women, they killed children and men and it was really bad and the government by that time uh, with uh, Calderón didn't do anything about it. So that's, that's why that's what one of the main issues that when he went to Libero, Peña Nieto went to Libero as a candidate then, the uh, students the students were showing their support to Atenco and they were tell they were calling him killer, assassin, etc. etc. So that's one that that's when the whole Just 132 movement started. And it's based just mainly of students in Mexico, but now it's pretty much Yo Soy 132 Somos Todos. Everyone is Yo Soy 132. It's, it's now around the world, like in many parts of Europe, or like over here. Here in the United States, we have presence in Las, in Las Vegas, San Diego. Here in the United States, we have presence in Las Vegas, San Diego, Chicago, Texas, New York. Help me out, Portland, Spain, Spain, international, Canada. Spain, Canada, um, France, Italy, New Zealand, Chile. We even did manifestations in Argentina. So we're really yeah, around the country, and this is something that has never happened in Mexico before. Uh -huh. it, it, it pretty much Mexican people just stay back and, and don't say nothing anymore. But like, this time, like Americans. yes, yeah. this time is different. This time we're showing the people, we're showing those governors that we are aware of what they are doing. And we're using the social media just to pass the on the word around the, around, the, around the world, around the globe. Do you feel like, like maybe this is some sort of revolution? There is a revolution, but the revolution is in, of the minds. There is a revolution on the thinking, because Mexican people are we're, we're used to just thinking the way that the governor wants to think. The, the way that the TV is showing us how to Oh yeah, I was going to ask you about the TV. Uh, is there, how there is, is that? There is a duopolio in Mexico, uh -huh. Televisa and, and Univision. They own the whole cadenas, all the channels, 
and they control everything. Today, there is a big repression going on in Mexico City. There, has been, there, is, there, is, there is the word that there are perhaps two people dead already, two students dead already, and there is nothing on the news going on. Yeah, I not in some, here, um, not in there, no there, there was some live stream I was watching this morning, yes. and um, was that how? How did they? How? Um, I heard that there's possible deaths, but how yes. do you know how those happen? Because of, of the cops, like they were shooting a uh, ga like gas, uh, ga like gas bomb. Did you guess? And, like, yeah, and they the and, and they were hit on like on the face or. Um, Instead of throwing the uh, the gas, the, the uh, those uh, cans of gas, gas instead canister? of throwing it to the floor, they were throwing at the people. Uh -huh. So people got really hurt. Yeah, there's a lot they, of people. They, they do that here too. And they yes. were shooting um, the uh, rubber gun, bullets, the rubber bars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. By by those, it, like people get hurt like, pretty bad. Okay. So that's what is going on today, and uh, we've been uh, we've been really uh, trying to get all together and, and telling the world, look what is happening in Mexico, but. Our movement is not different from the Estudiantes Chilenos. Our movement is not different from M15 in Spain. Our movement is, is all students or is all people who are aware of what is going on around the world and we're tired of the injustice. And that's why we're here. So what is that, like, what do you, was there anything that people like in other states or in other countries around the world, is there anything that people could do to help out? Spread the word, that's one, two, we're gonna start asking now because the problems, the, the situation of what's, com what's going on in Mexico today, all the uh, violence and all the human rights being violated, we're gonna start reaching to uh, bigger uh, worldwide organizations. So I think that's, the, that's our next step at this um, point. Is there any other uh, messages that you have for the world? Well, for the world? Today, the Mexico has no president. Mexico no tiene presidente. Today, that's today. We won't recognize Peña Nieto. We won't recognize him. Not only that's today, the sure. whole six years of his presidency. If he lasts the six, the six years, if he makes it, we will never recognize him. He won't. He won't be my president. So proud. <laughs> so that's what it is. Thank you.